Hello, welcome back to Fist Entertainment. This time for my review of 2021's Malevolent. Unfortunately, this is not a 4K review. This is a regular Blu-ray. Um, now, this right here, something that I often get asked by people that know me personally is they always want to know what my favorite horror film of the year is one year to the next to the next to the next out of 2021 this is my favorite horror film of 2021 Malevolent um, I had a, a major good time with this movie alright well let's go over the over the specs of this movie um, this film was shot even 1.85. Let me come in and take a look here. It doesn't really say. It doesn't really say. I haven't seen this film for a little while. But I do recall this film being a 1.85.1 widescreen. In fact, I'm pretty sure that it was. Yeah, actually, yeah, I can confirm that. This is um, in 1.85.1 widescreen, and it has a. Um, 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio sound presentation. Now, what's sad about that is this film was presented in Dolby Atmos in theaters. This is this is this is why I get a little annoyed when they do not put the original theatrical sound presentation on the Blu-ray. And unfortunately, um, Second Sight is the people that I believe released a 4K version of the movie, and it's not not available yet in my area. Um, it was released about two months ago in 4K, but I can't find a copy from Second Sight anywhere. Commission, I believe that's a, that's a region 2 locked company. I know 4Ks are not region locked, but that, that means it would be definitely a difficult film to get. But maybe one day I'll get a legment in 4K and can do, review this film again. And that one will have Dolby Atmos on it. Um, so I believe it will. It should. But trust me, that's not the great quality of this film. Not one bit. It being in 2K, 1080, and not 21, not, um, 60, 4K in DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 versus Atmos. It is not the great quality of this film. Not one bit. All right. Well, let's read it back here. A new vision of terror. Director James Wan returns to his roots with this new original horror thriller. A woman is paralyzed by shocking visions of grisly murders. And her torment worsens as she discovers that these waking dreams are in fact a terrifying reality. Okay. Now, it doesn't give anything away, but I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this movie already. If you haven't, you really should. But basically, this is a double ganger, a double ganger sort of story mixed in with a Jack and Hyde story. Basically, the terrifying reality of all this, of her having visions of murders is that when she was a child, she um, grew up the first 10 years of her life, seven years, eight years, I believe it was like seven to eight years of her life, to where she actually had a, um, a twin brother inside of her body in the form of a malignant cancer tumor, basically. And um, this malignant twin would take control of her body and do horrific acts and kill people. And, um, well, surgery, surgery was performed to remove as much of this malignant twin inside of her body, on the back of her head, right here. Surgery was performed to remove as much of it as possible and sew it up so it could be dormant and not ever come back again. And, well, our, our main character, who's a female, um... Her hu abusive husband 
abuses her and cuts the back of her head open. And this allows for her malevolent twin to come out of being dormant and go back on to his usual thing. Kills her husband and then after all this she gets visions of grisly murders to find out that the truth, basically. And the truth is she has a horrifying, demonic, malevolent twin that lives inside of her head and takes control of her body and and, the, and when she, that happens she uh she passes out and goes to sleep and why she thinks she's asleep that this twin of hers taking control of her body with supernatural strength and killing people i mean there's there's a and it, that sounds like a freaking freaky but in silly dumb idea but but th but this movie packs a major fucking punch um like there's a scene in the movie at, around the end where um to where this malignant twin controlling her body that walks back, what, what, what is her body that walks backwards and shit, literally kills like 25 fucking cops and detectives in a freaking police station or, or an FBI building. I believe it was an FBI building. It, it just rips through everybody and kills everybody. Um, crazy shit. The effects in this are are top notch, um, for sure. Um, yeah. And this is this film does have pack a punch on on the shock value. This this does have some horrifying images in it and some terrorizing images. And yeah, this definitely has a hard R for strong horror violence and gruesome images and for language. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of scary horror violence in here, but it's really more on a on a David Cronenberg, um, The Fly. Scanners, dead ringers. So it's it is literally body holder. So this is like a turn back to 1980s body holder. So yeah, there's some some crazy shit in this movie. Um, I had a lot of fun with this film, and I definitely know if that you will have fun with this film too. So um, you haven't seen um, *Malevolent*? I suggest that you do. If you saw it, did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time on Fuse Entertainment for another horrifying and terrifying review. Until then.